friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I actually shopped at two stores, found some amazing new food finds. I have lots of really fun recipes coming your way as well as some really good deals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories. That is how I've lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss. So highly, highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, and we'd love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at both Walmart this week as well as Sprouts. I have some new food finds for you, some really good deals. I'm excited to share this week's haul, so let's jump in. First, starting over at Walmart, I decided to get this Italian cookie assortment. I don't know, it looked really good. I love a good butter cookie. There's no chocolate in here, which is good for Troy. We just like having these types of sweet treats on hand. This was a new find for me. This is from the brand Flat Out. This is their carb down olive and oil, or olive oil and sea salt wraps for net carbs, which we don't track net carbs, we track total, but there's nine grams of fiber and four grams of protein and only 45 calories per wrap. And I thought this would be perfect to make sandwiches. You could really truly put anything in there. You could use it for tacos. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And I thought that was great, especially considering there's nine grams of fiber and some protein. And then I did grab another refill of the Guerrero Zero Net Carb tortillas. I like these because they're only 25 calories and they're the perfect size for me for a little mini tacos. One thing I saw on TikTok that I didn't know you could do with these is you could throw you can throw one in the microwave for 55 seconds per tortilla so one tortilla 55 seconds and it makes it crunchy like chips and I've seen people on TikTok use two of them to make kind of a crunchy sandwich so I'm gonna try that out I actually found quite a few good recipes on TikTok so stay tuned I'll be sharing those in future videos and then I did a restock of powdered sugar just because we are out and then I decided to grab two meats from the deli these were the pre-done pre-packaged ones this is rotisserie chicken and I've actually never tried the Prima Della rotisserie chicken. And then I got some ham as well. Troy's definitely more of a ham guy than a turkey or chicken guy. So again, I thought those would be really good wrapped up in those. Picked up a refill of light sour cream because we are out of sour cream. And then again, TikTok, I saw a recipe using the Oikos Triple Zero Vanilla Yogurt and protein powder and American Dream Nut Butter. So obviously I have to try that because I love my Clean Simple Eats protein. I love my American Dream Nut Butter. So again, stay tuned. I'll probably share that in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then I saw that Light and Fit had the lemon meringue yogurt and I love lemon anything, as you know. I don't typically buy the Light and Fit because the ingredients aren't the best, but I absolutely had to at least try out the lemon meringue. So I picked up two. And then we needed quite a bit of cheese. We actually needed cheese slices. So I got the extra sharp cheddar. I have really fallen in love with this chunky cheese. I don't know what it is about it. I feel like I need very little to get such good cheese flavor. I bought some chunky cheese like this last week at Kroger and I love it. So I grabbed the Tillamook one for this week and then I restocked my favorite light cheese or reduced fat cheese. This is the Pepper Jack from Sargento. I don't notice any difference between this and full fat cheese. So you might as well save some calories and fat. So I love, love, love that. And then Troy wants me to make his pasta salad. And I always tell you guys that his salad recipe is on my recipe website under Troy's pasta salad. And you can search under the blog portion of my website and pull it up. So I'm gonna make that for him. So I had to pick up a block of cheese. And then I decided to get mini pepperonis for little pizzas, quesadillas. I also have a recipe coming up that I need pepperoni for. I do have the turkey pepperoni as well, but I wanted regular pepperoni, so the minis it is. And then this was on sale for $3.49. This is the sweet street corn 
dip. I just want to try this out. I thought this would be really good with pretzels. If you watched Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I bought the little mini pretzel factory pretzels. I love those. So I thought this would be really good with that. Wanted to try it out. Figured $3.50, not bad. And then I picked up some more butter for Troy. They were completely out of the light butter, so I just grabbed him the churn style. A gallon of 1% milk for him, and then of course a refill of my low-fat Fairlife milk. Elbow macaroni, this is for Troy's pasta salad recipe. Quite a few canned things. Two cans of pineapple tidbit. It is my boot camp instructor's birthday this Saturday, birthday party. We're doing a whole Aloha pool party situation. And so I'm bringing Troy's mom's famous Hawaiian meatballs. They're so, so good. So these are in honor of his mom. If you didn't know, we lost his mom during COVID. And this was a recipe she was famous for. She would literally make it every holiday. So I'm going to make it because it definitely fits the whole Aloha theme. And then I needed some tomato sauce for a recipe, sliced olives for Troy's pasta salad, and then light coconut milk also for a recipe. I'm going to make enchiladas for dinner tonight. So I grabbed a pound of 93% ground beef. That way it's already thawed. All of my meat is in the freezer and I wasn't sure if it would thaw in time. So I went ahead and just picked up a pound and then some big cubed ham for Troy's pasta salad. I also grabbed a 24 pack of Diet Coke and a 12 pack of Gatorade Zero already being put away in the garage fridge per usual. Now let's go ahead and move into what I picked up from Sprouts. So these crackers are delicious and these are normally five to six dollars a box. Right now they're 99 cents at Sprouts. They have the rosemary and herb which I've tried and then I got the margarita pizza. Again I love having a good cracker on hand for hummus, dip, or with crackers and cheese and for 99 cents I definitely couldn't pass it up. And then I did grab Troy a little half gallon of organic fat-free milk because it was on sale for $1.88. From the bulk section, some raisins. I need raisins for a recipe and I like these lighter colored raisins better. And then I did grab some hemp seeds and some pumpkin seeds. We've got some food changes coming. I mentioned that in yesterday's weigh-in video. We'll talk more about that in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, but I wanted hemp seeds and pumpkin seeds for snacking and to top my yogurt. To TikTok, <laughs> I got some heavy whipping cream because I'm going to make my own vanilla sweet cream for my coffee, which I'm so excited about. Again, I'll share the recipe with you. And then I did need some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, so I grabbed the Stonyfield Organic. It was it was actually on sale for $3.49, so that is awesome. And then I did grab some eggs. I thought these were fun, the Heritage Free Range eggs. Look how fun the colors are. I actually reached out to the lady in our community that we buy eggs from and she didn't have enough ready. So I bought a dozen until I can get some farm fresh eggs from her. No surprise to anyone, Aurora water, but this one is a flavor I've never tried. Strawberry lemonade. I love the Aurora waters. They have electrolytes in them. They are an amazing, amazing post-workout water supplement. So I picked one of those up and then some cacao nibs. So again, topping my yogurt, Working on changing up my food a little bit. Again, stay tuned for next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day to learn more about that. And then I grabbed two of the Cookie Dough Chobani Flips. These were on sale for $1.09. I figured Troy would like those and can't pass up a dollar yogurt. And then I got two packs of my all white meat shredded chicken. I actually need that for a recipe. We use this for salads, quesadillas. It is just really convenient to have zero point all white meat cooked shredded chicken on hand. Both Troy and I utilize this all the time. So I picked up two packages. Everything else is produce. So this was on sale for $3 and it's watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew. I'm going to eat that today or Troy and I will eat that today. And then I grabbed a big bag of lemons for my water. Unfortunately, we cut our lemon tree in our backyard down to literally the nub. It is growing back. It's actually looking really, really good, but it's probably not going to produce fruit this year. So I'm having to buy lemons, which is a bit of a bummer, but it should flourish once it kind of grows back to its normal size. Two packages of blackberries because they were on sale. I didn't buy a ton of fruit because my next door neighbor gave me a bunch of fruit and vegetables from a local produce box that we can buy locally here in Arizona. She had way too much so she gave me mangoes and grapes and I just didn't need a lot of fruit because I'm going to work on those this week. I did get radishes for Troy's pasta salad. Avocados are buy one get one half off at Sprout so I picked up four. I needed an orange bell pepper for a recipe and then a green bell pepper for those meatballs for Julia our instructor's 
Hawaii party, and then some celery and green onions for Troy's pasta salad. I forgot to show you guys that I grabbed this artisan sweet gem lettuce, also it sprouts. I'm making a lettuce cup, and this lettuce is perfect for that. Also really, really good, it's torn up into salads and on sandwiches. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump in to what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. Today, Saturday, I'm actually going to my boot camp instructor's birthday party. So it's an out to dinner night. Tomorrow, Sunday, I am making a chicken stir fry. Monday, I'm doing mango chicken pasta. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll do leftovers. Thursday, we're gonna do some type of salad night. And then Friday is leftovers as well. That way I'm able to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And then here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm actually making a pepperoni pizza frittata. This sounds amazing. I cannot wait. I mean, pizza for breakfast. Yes, please. Lunch is going to be, to be blueberry, basil, chicken salad, lettuce wraps. Also sounds amazing. And then for a snack, I'm making no-bake workout bars, which is kind of like a protein bar. It'll be great pre, post, workout, or for a healthy snack. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's video. Thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Walmart and sprouts. We got some good deals. We have some new food finds. There are so many fun TikTok recipes I can't wait to share with you guys. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you never miss any videos. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And again, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's super fun video. Bye!